welcome to Fresh Dialogues. I'm Allison Van Dickelen, talking to you from Silicon Valley, California. Fresh Dialogues is an interview series with a green focus. Each week, I interview business leaders and celebrities. So I'm with Stuart Evans today, and he is chairman of NovaSAM. Can you give us um, your, your elevator pitch, Stuart? What is NovaSAM, and what do you plan to do with it? Well, NovaSAM is a company that's just started. It's spun out of Imperial College in London. That's kind of like the MIT of the UK. And we've invented a carbon-negative cement. And that's what we're going to deploy over the next couple of years. You know, Portland cement is the most pervasive material in the world. $150 billion dollars two and a half billion tons, and yet it represents 5% of man-made carbon dioxide emissions. Our cement doesn't emit carbon dioxide, it absorbs carbon dioxide. Can you explain that process to a layperson? How can, how can a cement absorb CO2? Well, several things happen in the process. With Portland cement, the first thing you do is you start with limestone, calcium carbonate, and you heat it up to about 1400 degrees centigrade to get rid of all the carbon in it. A uh, terrible thing to do, we start with the material magnesium silicates, of which world reserves are about 10,000 billion tonnes, and they have no carbon in them. So right there, we've got a stunning advantage. The second aspect is that uh, we only work at about 800 degrees centigrade, so that means the energy sources we can use in making our cement include biomass fuels, which have a much greener footprint. The second part of the technology is that having made the cement, we add a magic source to it, a mineral additive, which means that the cement absorbs carbon dioxide really quite rapidly. Right. And that makes a fantastic difference. And I'm curious, today we're at the uh, Going Green conference in Sausalito, and Vinod Kosla gave the keynote this morning and mentioned specifically Calera. Now, I'm curious to know how your technology or your uh, product differs from what Calera is offering, because that is one of the companies that Vinod is backing. Well, we, we are tremendously flattered that Vinod is following our lead and investing in green cement. But more seriously, uh, a number of different companies, of which Calera and Novasem are two of the leading ones, are now beginning to offer different sorts of cement technologies. And we're all trying to tackle the same thing. The big play at Calera, from what I understand, is they want to go next to power stations and coal uh, facilities to absorb the carbon dioxide there. Uh, one of our propositions that's slightly different is we're actually making cement without a ca carbonate-based feedstock. Uh, Vinod was talking about his materials being used in aggregate applications. We really think that, think that we're replacing uh, Portland cement. So right now it feels to me as though we're in the same space, uh, we're not head-to-head, -head, uh, and possibly even complementary. But besides, in a two and a half billion ton market, there's room for a couple of players. Right, so you can each have a good slice of that pie. Absolutely, that's right. Great. Yes. And what is your timetable? Do you have a, a program in place for how, how soon you're going to have a product to market? Well, uh, it's going to take obviously a number of years, and we heard how long it takes to get a great company off the ground. Our timetable is we're building a laboratory bench plant in London at the moment. That will be operational by Christmas. We'll, f we'll prove that out and then build a small industrial pilot plant by the summer of 2011, and we think the first large-scale facilities will be on board by maybe 2014. Quite a lot of that towards the end will be driven by the availability of capital. We see lots of enthusiasm for this, and once we've proven it, uh, the guys, we lots of guys who want to build the second, third, and fourth plants, it'll be Brave Man who builds the first plant, but we'll be there to help him on the way. Great. And tell us about your funding to date. Well, we've, um, these numbers are in pounds, so that dollar sixty-five to the pound roughly. So we've raised just over a million pounds from really good quality investors in London. Uh, so nearly $2 million. And in addition to that, we've had some British government funding uh, from a collaborative research project, rather like NIS would do here in the US. And we're working with big companies like Rio Tinto, who have some minerals that we want to use, and Lang O'Rourke, a big construction company. So we've had a couple of million to get us off the ground. We're spending that now, investing that now, uh, and we'll be needing to raise more money uh, about this time next year. Can you give us some details of your team? What makes your team special and poised for success, Stuart? Well, you know, the team is everything. Money's important, but the team is, is even more important than that. So we have a brilliant young chief scientist, uh, came to the UK to do his PhD and made the inventions. Uh, we're building the team. 
I'm an expert in getting people work permits because our, our scientists come from abroad. Uh, we've got a savvy group of uh, commercial people leading the company. It's one of the things that I try and do. And our outside investors add lots of value in terms of uh, understanding how to build companies. Great. Well, Stuart Evans, thank you so much for taking the time for Fresh Dialogues. Thank you. Bye-bye. Check out freshdialogues.com for interviews with Paul Krugman, Martin Sheen, Tom Friedman, and many others.